morning students and today i'm explaining moody method or uv method how to identify whether it is moody method or any wam method so in the case of wam or nwc or matrix minimum method obtain an initial in the place of o you are having i initial basic feasible solution then only you can solve the either nwc or wam or matrix minimum method when we go with the moody method obtain an obfs obfs means optimum whenever you are seeing the optimum basic feasible solution in the given problem then you have to solve whether they are mentioned the moody method or uv method and see the problem 2 4 2 6 3 2 3 destinations and 6 5 uh, 5 origins solution finding an optimum solution by uv method so before doing this first any method you can apply uh, for getting optimum basic feasible solution you can apply ibfs ibfs means you already you know the three procedures are three methods that is nwc or least cost or wam method so among these three you can select any one but the most appropriate is wam method that's why i'm selecting the wam method for the initial solution of getting an optimum solution so that's why i'm writing the initial solution by wam is so after calculation of wam i got these this uh, basic cells so 40 20 40 10 50 satisfying 10 10 20 50 60 so 60 satisfying 40 satisfying and 40 row wise 10 plus 40 50 row wise 10 plus 10 20 row wise 30 row wise 10 so all that in requirements are satisfied and then in immediately how to move for the calculation of basic cells basic cells what are the basic cells here wherever the x i z values are allocated that is called the quantities are allocated based on our origin to destination so this allocated are known as basic cells how many basic cells one two three four five six seven so you have to find the calculation for the basic cells of ui and vz values yes you have seven values that's why i'm specifying here one one forty is available in first row first column um, then 10 is available in second row second column so that's why i'm specifying wherever the basic cells occur you are if you are writing in this way it will be very easy then how to get a ui and vz values simple one technique is there so you can arbitrate arbitrarily select ui and vz values zero but a simple technique is by observing here so row wise single single basic cell two basic cell two basic cells so column wise two one here by observing the second column you have four basic cell in the second column so we can give the priority to that Otherwise, you can select orbit. You can choose that one also. That option, based on that option, I am going this problem. So, that's why I am taking V2 equals to 0. Why you took V2 0 particularly this column means? So, in this column, corresponding column, I have many basic cells. You can give that priority also. Otherwise, you can go with the arbitrary also. <clears throat> so, V2 equals to 0 then you have to find 1 1 so in 1 1 u1 v1 both the variables uh, both the values are unknown so so don't go first one then move to the second one 2 2 2 2 means u2 plus v2 equals to c2 2 so what is the u2 we don't know u2 value also so that's why u2 plus v2 value is 0 c2 to value is you have to write c means cost so what is the cost in the second 2 to 3 so that's why here i am writing u2 equals to 3 so this is the rule to find out ui and vz values and simple technique is and one more technique is suppose you have to find next one is 2 3 2 3 means this one 2 3 so you know two u2 uh, value so you can find means um, uh, among these two you have to know any one so u2 3 v3 so 3 plus 3 plus v3 equals to 2 3 plus 3 plus 
v3 equals to 2 that implies take this plus 3 that side so that implies v3 equals to 2 minus 3 equals to minus 1 so what which value you got v3 value is minus 1 in that way you can do it <coughs> simple technique now you know the v3 value mm, then 3 1 u3 you know that u, u v1 also don't know so then 3 2 3 2 3 2 u3 plus 0 equals to 5 so then what is the value u3 we don't know v2 0 u3 plus 0 cost is 5 so obviously u3 equals to 5 then u4 we don't know u4 plus 0 equals to 2 so 2 then u5 plus 0 equals to 2 2 now you know u2 u3 u4 u5 and you have to find u1 and v1 and then you have to find u3 u1 u3 plus v1 u3 you know that u3 value basic cell you have to find u1 with the help of this also you can find v1 now u3 5 and cost is 4 so 5 plus v1 equals to 4 therefore you will get here So take this plus 5 that side becomes that implies v1 equals to minus 1. Now you know v1 u1 plus or minus minus 1 u1 minus 1 equals to 2. u1 plus v1 minus 1 equals to to take this minus 1 that side it becomes u1 equals to plus 3. So, this is the way to find out uh, ui and vz values only for basic cells. Means, wherever the occupied cells are those, that is called basic cell. And immediately, you have to find the net evaluations, calculation of net evaluation. That net evaluation is delta iz that you can write it as zeta iz minus ca iz also you can take it. Instead of that, I am taking delta iz equals to ui plus vz minus ca iz. UI VZ values you are calculating for basic cells and net evaluations are calculating for non-basic cells wherever you are not having unoccupied cells. Unoccupied. This is called occupied. These are called unoccupied cells. You can write the cells names. So this is first row, second column. So 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, uh, 3, 3, 4, 1, 4, 3, 5, 1, 5. So, I specified all the cells names. So, based on this formula, we are going to calculate. It is also very simple. U1 plus V2 minus C12. <coughs> so, what is the U1 value? 3. V2 value is 0. C12 value is C12. First row, second value. So, 3 minus 4, minus 1, <coughs> u1 plus v3 minus c13, u1 again 3, v3 plus or minus 1 and c13 is minus 1, minus 1 minus 1, minus 2, 3 minus 2 plus 1. So, in that way you have to calculate but uh, from the next onwards, Next to cells onwards, I am directly writing U2. U2 is 3. U2 is 3. Corresponding value is minus 1. 3 minus 1, minus 6. 3 minus 1, minus 6. Equals to 3 minus 7. Equals to minus 4. 3, 3. 5. 5. 
minus 1, minus 6, 5 minus 7, minus 2. Next, 4, 1, 4, 1, 2, minus 1, 2, minus 1, minus 3, plus 2, minus 2, 4, 3, 2, minus 1, minus 1, 0, 5, 1, 2, Minus 1, minus 5, minus 6, minus 2, minus 4, 1, 5, 3, 2, minus 1, minus 5, minus 5. By checking all the net evolutions values here, minus 1, plus 1, except the second value, remaining all the values are negative. So, whenever, suppose, if this value also minus 2 means all the delta, Z, delta IJ values are, if all delta IJ values are either equals to 0 or less than 0, then the problem is optimum. Then the problem is optimum. If at least one positive value occurs, then we can move to the next procedure. If you observe the second 1, 3, at 1, 3 cell you are getting plus van value. Suppose if it is also negative, so we got 1, 0 and the remaining all the values are negative. Suppose if it is also negative, so we got the optimum solution. So we can stop this problem up to here, right. And then you have to find 40 into 2, 10 into 3. If minus not, if plus not occurs, if plus value not occurs, but at present we got the plus one. So, then we can move to, so wherever the plus 1 means after getting the net evaluation, you have to specify, you have to specify in the brackets. So, what is the first one? Minus 1, plus 1, minus 4, minus 2, again minus 2, 0, minus 4, minus 4. So, these are the non-base net evaluation values you have to specify within the parenthesis. Among the all these, the second value is positive. So, then you have to create a loop. So, how to create a loop? Wherever the positive value exists, from that you have to start the loop. But the loop should have even corners and it should cover. The first point it, it should it should have even, even corners. And the second point is that corner should be basic cells. That corner should be basic cells. Observe here. I am starting from positive value 1. It is a non-basic cell. So, it is a occupied cell. So, this is the first corner. One first corner. Second corner. So, where is the next? So, this is the basic cell. Only you have to cover the basic cell, basic cell, basic cell, basic cell. So, first you check how many corners are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, even corners, 6 corners, 6 corners. And then, wherever you go except the first remaining should corners, basic cell, basic cell. Basic cell, corner, basic cell, corner, basic cell, corner, basic cell. So, the second also satisfying. Then, after getting the loop, we have to find theta equals to minimum quantities in negative signs of loop. So, what are the negative signs means here? Wherever the loop starts in that area, you have to take plus, alternate, minus, plus, minus, plus minus right so wherever the loop form wherever the negative signs appear wherever the negative signs appear 40 at 40 negative sign at a 10 negative sign and again 40 negative sign at 3 3 positives 3 negatives 1 2 3 
three positives, three negatives. So that's why I'm writing minimum quantities in negative signs of loop. That is 40, 10, 40. Among these three, which is the smallest, 10 is the smallest. So therefore, theta equals to 10. Well, then next step is wherever the uh, positive signs, you have to add the theta value. Wherever the negative signs are appear, the theta value should subtract. So here you will get plus. So you will get 10. Here 40 minus. 40 minus 10, 30. Plus 10, 10 plus 10, 20, 0, no need to mention, 10 plus 10, 20, 40 minus 10, 30. So, based on that, I am getting these basic cells. So, here we don't have any one, but here we have plus 10, 40 minus 10, 30, 10 plus 10, 20. So, here 0, here 20, here 40 minus 10, 30, right? And again, as it is, you have to find the... Uh, UI and VZ values for basic cells. What are the basic cells? 1, 1, 1, 3, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1. So, based on that, I am writing the basic cells. You have to find the UI and VZ values and similarly, net evaluations. So, here, same thing I am applying here. So, in this column, I am getting the maximum basic cells. That's why V2 equals to 0. And you have to find out V2. So, I am taking this one. 3 plus 0. Sorry, actually, I don't. First, uh, I calculated all these values already. Okay, I will show here. And then, U1, V1. V1. We know that only V2. So, first you go with the V2. So, that implies U2 plus V2 equals to C2. So, V2 is 0. U2 you don't know as it is and C2. So that is 3. So that's why I'm writing U2 equals to 3. Then you can move to this 3 plus 3 plus V3 equals to 